Yesterday I was working on um, diminished seventh and dominant seventh arpeggio transitions in the key of A flat major. So I had the G, B flat, D flat, F flat arpeggio, four note arpeggio going to the G, B flat, D flat, E flat arpeggio, which is the dominant seventh and first inversion. Now I do another routine with that, those same pairings of those broken chords um, and I do it in contrary motion. I'm going to go a little slower. And what I've discovered, interestingly enough, with the staccato is to get the powerful staccato quickly, and it's always hard to get a powerful staccato when you're going fast, is not so much a forearm feeling as a dead weight into the keys feeling as you, as you snip from legato. So if you just did, just took one octave in and out like this, and you dead weighted in, snip it but you keep the dead weight over and across your fingers you get the power without necessarily having to do a vertical spread all the way across the piano you can be deep in the keys for your that's what I mean so you see I didn't have to go do this kind of thing but I was just dead weight and snipped it out but kept the weight intact across my fingers. If I did the finger staccato it wouldn't so much be that I'm thinking individual parts of my arm but I'm just like lightening up my arms and therefore my fingers are just an extension of that. So if I wanted to do the softer one I would take my finger. That's basically the difference for me in creating the bigger legato, the bigger staccato and the softer one in a faster tempo. But going back to what I do as my routine, you can do a, uh, first you can do the slow practice, as I did when I first sit down at the piano and I want to get into the keys. And I don't try not to do my head side to side, I've talked about this before. Sometimes I roll my eyeballs, but I don't like my head going side to side. So this is where you get deep into the keys. And then you can do your roll, dip, 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 roll, hard to play staccato and I didn't attempt to do it because I took a rather fast quarter note. If I took a slower quarter note and I peaked at a slower proportion 32nd, the staccato would be easier. Um, when I'm going that fast, um, it, it does amount to, and I'm not, I'm not going that fast, it amounts to just fingertips and it's hard to get each one. Some of those were good and some weren't. Now if I want to fine tune a weakness, and I have this with students all the time, sometimes when they get to the last part of this, which is called a close position, there's no more thumb shifting under, I have them do little uh, rhythms, because first legato. So those are little things that I fine tune in my own playing when I, I tighten up there at the end. It's very easy to tighten up on the turnarounds. That's, that's a place you have to really breathe on your turnarounds. Um, the other thing I do is I will do the uh, dominant seven, as I said, which the F flat goes to E flat. And I will you know, do the same thing, I'll 
start with slow quarters. So kind of quick, without being a very, very fast 30 second. But this is just to speed things up a little in terms of showing what I do. And then dip forward, dip forward, dip. same thing. And then do a little, 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 little,
And then you could go back and forth between um, dominant seven and tenths and diminished seven and tenths. some ideas and the point of my not being <laughs> really always accurate shows me shows you and me ways that you have to fine-tune what you're doing and how to get yourself out of these snags is the important thing not that you have the snags now in the staccato that's going to be hard to do those we could call those 30 seconds but... <laughs> 